Well, hello, everybody. I'm asking my girls out there to listen to make sure that this is working okay because I was having some technical difficulties, as always, <laughs> but I think it's okay now. How's everybody doing today? If you guys can hear me okay, just throw me a comment and tell me everything's all right because I'm by myself, as you can see. I am Kelly with uh, Kelly's Bee Boutique, and my sidekick, Savannah, is not feeling so great today, so she's home. And uh, hey, Lori, how are you doing today? Yeah, so I'm trying to figure out all these things and I, I had had uh, something that was going to happen and now it's not going to happen. And, you know, that's the way technology is, right? <laughs> hey, Kendra. Hi, Leah. So there's no um, no weird echoing or anything like that. That's good. OK, good, 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 good. It always stresses me out because all of a sudden it, it just kind of changed and I could hear myself and it was all this echoing. And I'm like, oh, no, what do I do? But it's good. All right. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> I've got Lori and Tessa here today. Um, thank you so much to everybody over the holiday season that sent in an order. Um, we came in to work yesterday for the first time. Well, I've been here every day. You know, I always work behind the scenes. Uh, but the girls all had uh, about 10 days off. Uh, so we came in yesterday to a ton of um, orders. And uh, we got all but six done. So the rest of them are going to go out today. So they did a really, really uh, good job. I had everybody working yesterday. So it was a bit... A bit crazy. So, well, hello from Ecuador. Nice that you could join us, Jeanette. And Nancy from Pennsylvania. And Christine from Australia. Awesome. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining me. I hope everybody had a really nice holiday season and a really good uh, New Year's. Uh, we had a really nice time here, except that um, our entire family, all 16 members of our family, got taken down by a virus within 12 hours we were all sick it was awful actually nobody um nobody got to celebrate <laughs> we all made it through one day and then that was it it was terrible so i i had booked all that time off and i was sick i and we're still sick we're still not feeling 100 percent. so oh my gosh you know it's uh these preschool viruses that come in <laughs> they're not a lot of fun oh hi is it Birgit? From Germany. Oh, and from sunny Florida. Well, you know, it's not so sunny here, Laura. <laughs> well, actually, it's sunny today, but it's not very warm. Anyway, so Savannah's still not feeling super great. So she's home today. And it's just me. So I don't have a lot planned. I've got a couple things to show you. And then we've got a cute little um, project that I'm going to um, do. And that's about it. So hey, Sophie, how you doing? Yeah, Jody, it was kind of a drag, you know, but it is what it is. Like it was a forced time off because we watched a lot of Netflix because we couldn't do much else. Um, it, the nausea is still there and I'm still not feeling 100 percent today. I was actually just kind of groaning up at the house when I was having lunch. I'm like, oh, hope I can do this today. But, you know, so forgive me if I'm not at my best, but I'm trying. I'm also growing my hair out. So it's looking a little different because I I don't know. I change my hair like I change my underwear. <laughs> always changing it up right so um that's it looks different today it does looks very different on camera but um i'm always changing it so yeah laura i probably should get rid of my um my toothbrush and probably change that out right all those little things yes jody another christmas memory there's always something you know it was the year anniversary of my mother-in-law i'm not my mother-in-law my daughter's mother-in-law passing over christmas so that was a tough first thing to get through and then one of my staff members lost her dad on christmas day which is horrifying um so you know christmas it's it's a really weird time of year because there's a lot of expectations and a lot of yeah, you know, we think so many things are going to happen but in the behind the scenes there's there's often a lot of uh, you know trauma and sadness and illness and all sorts of things, right? So um, you know it's it's a tough time for for a lot of people, but uh, you know we made it through. We we're still here laughing about it. We just you know it was the they call it what's it called Nor novo virus norovirus something like that. It's one of these horrible super transmittable ones, and it just keeps going around and around and around. So you know not fun. Yeah, influenza A. There's all kinds of stuff. So. Anyway, so that's it. So thanks again for showing up today for the first live of the year. Um, I actually really like doing these again. You know, I stopped doing them for so long um, because I wasn't having as much fun with them. But having um, StreamYard has been really fun. And they have a new feature, which I thought I was able to use. I'm going to see if I can. No, it doesn't look like it's ready to go. I'm going to make sure I have it for next time because you guys will really like it. But um, 
all these new things that I have to try and teach myself to do. And, you know, when you're old, it's hard. So <laughs> anyway, so a couple of things and then we'll switch cameras. Um, I have to write notes so that I remember things. Um, oh, hey, Karen, are you not feeling very well today either? I noticed that your store is closed. Karen's my cousin and she lives on the other side of Canada. She's in Ontario and I'm in British Columbia. And uh, she has a lovely yarn store. Um, oh my gosh, Karen, um, what's the name of your store? Maybe you can pop it on there. I, all of a sudden it has escaped my brain. Um, I Oh, gray hair and yarn. So if you are a yarn person, um, I'm pretty sure Karen ships. Um, and so she has a lovely little um, store in uh, Ontario. So yeah, so if you're in the, uh, I think she's, in, are you in Belleville, Ontario? If you're in that area, make sure you stop in and say hi to my cousin. Um, so yeah, so it's funny how the, you know, two, two of the cousins have stores. So anyway, all right. So uh, if you go to my website, there's a few new things. I've been, I worked on my website like crazy over the uh, Christmas holidays. Um, updating lots of things. One of the things that I did was put a lot of stuff on clearance. Um, Tierra Cast is discontinuing a lot of their, um, not a lot, but you know, they, they discontinue things, I guess, that are so, slower se sellers for them, which is good for you because then I put it on sale because I figure, well, I can't get it in again, so let's just get rid of it now. So there's a ton of really good Tierra Cast on there that's marked down uh, 40 and 50% on some of them. And I noticed that some people have been taking advantage of that. Uh, the good thing about that is that means that Tierra Cast is going to have some new products uh, in Tucson, which I'm going to be going this year with a couple of my girlfriends. So I'm really looking forward to that. So if you head over to the clearance section, there's um, Semi Precious. There's tons of findings. Um, what else did I throw in there? Um, there's some chain. There's full spools of chain. There's some gold filled chain that was very, very expensive and I marked it down and now I've marked it down even further. So if you like, like a big, chunky um, gold filled chain, which is very expensive, I've marked it down bare bottom. It's probably well below my cost. Um, so we've got that in there. There's all kinds of things in the clearance um, page. So head on over there. Um, I also added on there some leather cord ends. So we take about an ounce of all the different, uh, you know, because we have lots of, we do lots of um, projects with, a leather here so kits and things like that and so you know we might have like a, a meter or half a meter or sometimes we'll you know cut an extra meter and it just gets thrown into a pile and instead of trying to dig through we just put it all in a bag and then I make up these bags that have an ounce of mixed things so there's you'll have different sizes of leather there might be leather with bling on it there who knows um we put our um a vegan suede in there and I put together an ounce of it so you get a nice little bag of it and I think it's $13.99. I think there's are down to only about six of them right now but that's a really great way to get all kinds of little bits of uh, leather at a reasonable price. So that is also in the clearance section. The other thing that I did over the holidays was I was sitting down here because there's nobody around so I just brought my phone down and sat and watched bad Netflix and <laughs> <laughs> um, put together a whole pile of mystery boxes, which went in about 20 minutes. And I'm sorry, because I know that you guys are always like, oh, darn, I missed it. But as soon as I put them up there, um, they just go. And now uh, we have a little bit of a sticker shock as we were sending those out yesterday because the postal rates have gone up. And I know I'm always whining about the postal rates, but holy smokes, what used to cost me $9 to send to the United States for a heavier package went up to 18 <laughs> so um, I got creamed on shipping yesterday. That was crazy. So I still want to be able to do these for you. But what we're going to do is instead of having the um, $50 mystery boxes where you get $200 worth of stuff, we're going to lower it down, I think, to $25 and you'll get $100 worth of um, product. So we're going to make up little bags full of um, beads and stuff like that. And then I'm just kind of asking, hopefully if I put it out there enough, that you don't combine a lot of stuff in with that order because it adds to the weight and we're they're already pretty heavy because there's so many findings and beads in there. Um, and then hopefully, you know, it'll help with the shipping costs a little bit because uh, it's hard as a small business to just, you know, um, one of them was really bad yesterday when I sent it out. I almost cried. I was like, oh my gosh, well, I made zero money on that one. But anyway, so does that... Do you guys like that idea of doing smaller valued ones like for $25? Because we also thought, I know that this is a tough time for a lot of us. Um, and maybe having to only put out $25 is a little more appealing than putting out $50. Does that work for everybody? I'm thinking that that might be a good idea. Because we have so many singles left over from the store. 
um, lots of like single uh, check glass and semi-precious and beads and findings and, you know, chain. And I, I mean, I was cleaning out tons of stuff. We have so many things and I was just plunking them all in there. So each box that I sent out, if you happen to get one, had at least $215. Some had like up to $230. So uh, so when so the best way to find out about mystery boxes, I actually took it off the site, but I will put them live again in a bit. Uh, we don't have any available, but I'll put the, the listing. If you go in there, there's a little area that says um, notify me when it comes back into stock. And that's the best way because I can't I have thousands and thousands of customers, so I can't call people or make notes or whatever. So I kind of have to put it on to you a little bit there. So, yeah, there would be a lot more, surely, to go around if I did it that way. So I think we're going to work on those over the coming weeks if we have some quiet times. It's just they do take a lot of time because we have to literally, like, add things up. And, you know, so anyway, um, so that's about it as far as things that I wanted to tell you. I have a shipment um, that just arrived from China. Um, it's some restocks of some things. And I think there might be a couple new things, but they're holding it at FedEx. I don't know why. Shipping right now is a pain in my bum. <laughs> I, I get so frustrated. They charge you so much and then they hold it and things like that. So that one's sitting there. And then I just placed another order with another vendor in China for a restock on a lot of our semi-precious. Uh, we sold out of our uh, six millimeter large hole pearl, freshwater pearls within like, I don't know, a couple of days of getting them. So I've just ordered like 60 of them, uh, 60 strands. So that should hold us for a little bit because I'm going to Tucson. I don't want to spend a lot of money. So um, I just did a quick restock this morning. So, um, so Kendra, those mystery boxes are located on the clearance page, but I, I made them unlive this morning because I thought, well, we don't have any more, but I'll, I'll make them live again and change, change it up a little bit. So, all right. So I'm just going to change the, uh, the view here. And so that I can show you a couple things from the um, downward camera. And then um, I will uh, show you just a quick little project. OK, so let me see if I can figure out how to do this, because normally this is what Savannah does. Oh, yeah, it worked. Uh, that's a water spot, I think. Where's my water spot? I don't know. Oh, you guys can't see it. That's good. That was just my mouse that was in the way then. <laughs> OK. Uh, yeah, no, I don't have COVID. Uh, we've all checked. It's not COVID. So thank goodness. Um, thank, I was just so grateful not to get that. Okay. So we've got um, the, the Great Beat Extravaganza is coming up next uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So on Friday night, we um, do our little uh, presentation where all the um, teachers get together on a Zoom call. And uh, we, we show everybody what we're doing. And we talk a little bit about what's going on. And then mine is on, my presentation is live on Saturday at four o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And uh, so my project, I'm trying to get it so you guys can see how cute this is. It's hard to hold it so that it, you can see it in the right way. But this is the, um, the bracelet that I'm doing. So it's got some leather, of course, and barrel knots. And then it's got some um, fun little um, baubles all over it. It is so cute. So that is the green and uh, blue one that and I think I called this one the penny um, but it's one of those ones it's really hard to get a good picture of so I think when you see me make this um, you're going to really love it this is everybody's favorite and I am really limited on stock on these I do have you know a couple dozen left uh, this is the pink and white one which is a, a fan favorite everybody seems to really like that one and these look so adorable on and the nice thing is that um, because of the way that I've constructed it, it's always going to look different when it's on you. So it's always going to have lots of movement and it sort of changes the color. I mean, that's the way it's supposed to look, I suppose, if, you're, if there is a supposed to look kind of thing. But um, they will change with, and have lots of movement, which is really nice in jewelry. It's not boring. And then this is, my, of course, my favorite with the um, sort of turquoise and then the smoky um, accent bead. So... Those are available right now, and I've kept the um, prices pretty reasonable. I think they're $24.99, and uh, so I will be making that live next uh, next Saturday on the 14th, I believe it is, of January. I can't believe we're already that far into January that we're going to be talking about the mid-month. <laughs> okay, so those are available on the um, site right now. I'm just looking at a couple of the comments because I don't have somebody helping me with this today. 
Um, what's that? What's that? Sorry, I'm not see, see, uh, understanding what you want, Shirley. I'm fairly new with you in a live tour of some of the selections of beads. Um, I mean, I can do... I can do that. I do that a lot on these Wednesday shows. So when I get in the new beads, I always show them under the camera here so that you can see them. Um, also, I have Tessa that works for me and she's been um, taking some really great pictures. So if you go in and look at the pictures, they're pretty representative of what you can expect to get. Um, I don't carry poor quality beads. I only carry really good quality stuff. So um very seldom have we ever, ever had anybody that is not happy with their um, order. I like I can count on one hand in 13 years of business. So I do try really hard to only carry good quality um, products. So hopefully that helps a, a little bit. But this is the best place if you're new. Um, this is the best one uh, place to come and see the beads because ger generally if I have new beads, I will show them to you. And everybody seems to really like that because I'm actually like showing them and there's some movement. You can actually see the colors. So. Oh, you like the pink and the white? Thanks, Becky. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, it's been a fan favorite. So if you haven't watched my video from Monday, this is the project that I made. This is, what did I call this one? Um, goodness gracious, I can't even remember what I called this. Uh, hey, Lori, do you remember what I called Monday's project? Oh, Hannah. Thank you. Yeah, it's the Hannah. So these have been super popular. I made up a whole pile of them and they're all gone already, but we do have, we do have some available still. Um, this is the gray one with um, the uh, Picasso accent. And then this is, of course, the blue with the cobalt blue uh, Picasso. Uh, they've both been equally as um, popular, but I think this is the fan favorite, the gray with a little bit of sort of brownie Picasso running through it. Super easy. Um, it's really adjustable because I've given you lots of leather in the kit. And so you can make it uh, completely whatever size you want. So if you want to wear it short or long, you just can move along these um, little silicone. Sometimes people f find these hard to find on the website. With our um, search bar, if you just type in minimal words, it helps. So if you just type in the word silicone, they'll pop up and you'll see them. And I use the SOC4 on these. So they've got the little bit bigger hole on there. So that is the project from Monday. So if you haven't looked at that video, please make sure to go watch it. And um, if you can, if you enjoyed it, please make sure to like it and uh, leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already, because um, it really does help the channel. YouTube's kind of dying right now and we're not getting views and it's getting frustrating for um, people. So all the interaction that you can give us is free and it really does help us be able to do what we love to do. So, all right, well, you're not late. Um, this isn't the, re this is live. So you're completely live. So you're not missing anything. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to put together a little project. I have to remember what in the heck I did. So let me get a few things here. So, yes, and because it's not live, I have to make it live. So give me a little bit of time after the, um, the video and I will make those mystery boxes live again, even though they won't be available. Don't get excited and think, but there's nothing to buy because there won't be anything to buy quite yet, okay? So I'll just make them live so that you can go in there and then um, say that you want to um, be notified when it does go live. Alrighty. So I'm just kind of getting all my little bits and parts for my, just a very quick little project, but it turned out really cute. So I'm just looking to see what I actually did on this because I made them a little while ago and then I'm like, okay, what did I do? Okay. Just make sure there's no other... Yeah, so and just, yeah, just hang on a little bit and then I will make that live. Okay, so for the earrings that I'm making today, I'm going to be using some 22 gauge uh, titanium craft wire. And we will be selling this as the kit. It's going to be called the Devon kit. It is not live yet because I completely forgot, but it'll be live in a little bit. So maybe around um, two o'clock, have a look. And it might be live now, but I don't think it is. Um, I have to take a picture and get that put on there. But um, this is the Devon kit. So you can either buy all these things separately or you can buy the kit. So we are gonna be using a little bit of 22 gauge uh, titanium wire and we're gonna be using a fine, um, this is more like a 22 to a 24 gauge um, head pin. We don't sell these, unfortunately. This is just something that I had in my stash. I wanted something a little bit finer. So we're gonna be using that today. We have these beautiful little, um, uh, 
six by nine uh, Czech rondelles, and this is a cobalt with a Picasso on it. And then I also have a matching, um, is this in the teardrop, but what is this one called? I can't remember what they call these things, but it's the same sort of color and it's got the, um, the Picasso on there too. So that one's so pretty. And I just, I don't usually match things up, but I just thought it went so well. Oh, and I'm actually missing a part. Let me grab the part here. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us, Jean. I appreciate that. Okay, now I've got the, I've got the names of these things if you're wondering. So this one here is the BBB 418. It's the Cobalt Picasso. And this one here is the C, CZ 300116. It's the Denim Blue Silk Picasso. So they're essentially the same colors, just different, um, different suppliers call them different things. So, and then I also have dog hair because we have to have dog hair on everything. And then I have these stainless steel uh, horse eye rings that I'm gonna be using. And then we'll be using our four basic tools, our chain nose pliers, our round nose pliers, our bent chain nose, and our cutters. No, that isn't a dagger. That A dagger, Savannah, um, hey Savannah, hope you're feeling better. A, a dagger actually has a hole that goes across and this one goes from the top to the bottom. So this is, I can't remember what they call this. Um, honestly, I can't remember. My brain is not working. But a dagger looks the same, but it's got a, a diagonal or a cross hole up there. And this one is top to bottom. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, this one's not a table cut. It's called something else. Spindle. Thank you, Becky. Yes, that is a spindle bead. <laughs> See, I always have to look to you guys for help because, you know, you guys always help me out. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut myself a little bit of wire. So if you buy a kit, you would get about 10 inches or so of wire. So I'm just gonna cut a little piece off of here. And, sorry, and I don't have a mat on here now. I'm looking, um, I, I was actually looking on Amazon yesterday for something to kind of deaden the sound on here uh, because I was using one of these other mats, but it's really yellow. But they have these gaming mats that are that absorb some of the sound and that and it's a little bit cushy so i think i'm going to buy one of those so when you take your wire off it might have a little bit of a bend in there but what i'm going to do is just kind of grab the top of it and then run the wire between my fingers so i'm actually applying a little bit of pressure pushing my thumb through and you can see how that just straightened that right out so now i'm going to go about an inch and a half or so from the top and i'm going to um, take my thumb and bend away I want to have a nice sharp bend there. And then now I'm going to go down to wherever I decide on my pliers. I'm going to go about there and I'm going to go up and over and straight down. I'm going to open my pliers, rotate it, and then I'm going to take this little tail that's in the front and pull that straight to the back. So then you should have something that looks like that. You want to have something that looks like a nice little lollipop. Hopefully that's translating on there. Okay, so now I am going to go across that little loop that I've made. I want to have my longer piece going out to the uh, left and then my short piece in the top. Now, the most integral part of making a wrap loop is getting that first little thing locked in there. So I want to lock that in there. And I'm going to just check and see what I did on my sample here on how I, because I change my mind on these all the time if I'm going to do like a double wrapped one. But I'm just doing my traditional three wraps, just three nice uh, wraps down there. And then I'm going to come in with my cutters using the flush part and give that a little trim. And then we're going to have a little tiny burr there. It just kind of pops up ever so slightly. And I just come in and just take my pliers and gently push that down. You don't want to push so hard that you change the look of it. Okay, so that's what we're, we've got happening here so far. Got a nice little wrapped loop. And then I am going to take one of our, which I forgot to mention, I forgot to mention a couple parts here because I was distracted. <laughs> I have these nice little Tierra Cast bead caps. And if you're looking for these on the website, this is a 94 5596. And this is the um, 12. This is their um, silver. And I really like them because they add just a little bit of something, but you can see how tiny they are. So I'm going to put that on and then our rondelle and then our other one. <laughs> I'm just very, you know, some days I'm very distracted while I'm doing this. <laughs> so that's what we've got. And then now I'm going to turn this so I, because I want both of my loops going the same direction. So I find the best way to do that is actually turning it in the direction that I want. 
So now I'm going to take my pliers and just place them at the top there. I don't want to have a super long neck. So I'm just going to maybe go about there. And I'm going to repeat like I did the beginning. So I'm going to bend away. And I'm going to go back to the same area that I was on my round nose pliers and go up and over and down and then rotate that. And I have a feeling all of a sudden that I should have been going in a different direction, but I can fix that if it is. I'm just going to look at my sample here. So I have to keep referring back to my sample that I made because when you make something, you know, a while ago, is that supposed to be? Yeah, it's supposed to be opposite, but I can change that. So not, not to worry. All right. So now I'm going to take my, um, little horse eye ring and I'm going to run that through that loop. Okay. I want to do that before I do that up. So I'm now just going to wrap this a couple times. So I'll go down three times. So it mimics the first one that I did there. And then we're going to trim that off. And now I'm going to do something that I never suggest doing, but this is how you can fix this. If you make a mistake, like I just did by going different directions. So I'll just show you here what I need. So this one here needs to be in this direction because I'm going to have an ear wire going through there. So now I've gotten in, in the wrong direction. So all I'm going to do is take this and I'm going to hold it and just twist. So now you can see that they're going in different directions, which is what I did want. But you have to be careful when you do that because you can kind of destroy what you just did. So, you know, if you did kind of move things around, just come in with your pliers and just boss that wire around a little bit and make it do what you want it to do. But that's what we've got happening. All right, I'm just gonna have a little drink of my water and see if there's any questions. Uh, let's see. Uh, if we had any craft stores here, I could do that. We have nothing. Like literally, there's not a thing anywhere. It's really weird. They've, everything's closed down recently. So we don't have a lot of, um, there's no, I, we have no um, fabric stores. We have no craft stores other than Michael's and they just don't really have much of anything, but I might have to go and have a little look and see what they've got because this, you know, this is just like uh, just a piece of parchment paper or whatever, just to kind of um, have a bit of color on there. Sorry, I keep referring back to my, my sample because I'm like, what in the heck did I do here? <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to take my uh, little uh, head pin and I'm going to run it through my spindle bead and I'm going to repeat what I've done before. So I'm just going to take my chain nose pliers and bend away and I'm going to make just a tiny little loop. I don't want much of one at all. So this is going to be really small. So I'm going to come down to the front of my round nose pliers up over down, rotate. And then before I wrap it up, I'm going to come through this loop that I created. So I'm going to come through there. And you know, sometimes when I'm creating things like it just, I, I get lucky and it just kind of all works. But I too had to make this one a couple times because I have an idea in my head and then it doesn't always work. So I waste all the product for you so you don't have to. <laughs> so if you have these parts, um, you could make this easily yourself too. So now you've got to be careful when you're tucking in burrs when you're next to these kind of uh, beads. These are glass beads. They are uh, glass from the Czech Republic. So you've got to be really careful when you're pushing that down that you're only on top of the wire and not near that bead. Okay, so now we have this floating in front there. And then I wanted something, just a little bit of extra something on here. It just, you know, I mean, that would have been cute enough just as it is. But then I found I don't have many of these, so I don't even have them on the website for sale right now. So if you wanted this, you'd have to um, buy the kit. But I have these little five millimeter rhinestone um, charms. And I've got a little teeny tiny three millimeter, I think they're a 21 gauge jump ring, just a tiny little one. And it just kind of added that little extra something. And I'm just going to pop that on the front there. And that is such a tiny little jump ring, but I didn't want the jump ring to really be noticeable. I wanted the little bit of bling to be noticeable. And I'll show you all a, a really good view of this in a second once I finish this up. So now I'm gonna open up my ear wire and these are these lovely Tierra cast um, ear wires. And I really like them because they've got a really nice shape to them. And they, what I like about them is they don't fall out of your ears. So I'm gonna find the front of that. 
and pop that on. And now do I have that going the right direction? No, of course I don't. Okay, I got to turn that around. See, you know, when you're doing things live and you're not paying attention, now I got to find the little hole in there and turn that around. There's always a way to fix things, right? So I've got to open that back up again. And anybody that's never watched me before is probably thinking, does she even know what she's doing? But I, I swear I do. I know what I'm doing. All right. Let me move some of this stuff and then show you the completed pair. I think it kind of turned out nice. So, oh, thanks, Lynn. Nice to see you here. Yeah, it's just kind of a, a nice little, you know, easy peasy kind of thing. Um, they come together really nice. And that little tiny bit of bling on there is right up my alley. It just kind of adds that little... You know, when you're always wanting that little extra something. And that line that's running down there is just a little bit of the Picasso that's showing. But I really like that there's um, sort of a, a little bit of color on there. So now you can't see them very well when they're that far away. But I'm going to put it in my hand there. And that maybe you can see a little bit easier. But I just love that little tiny bit of uh, bling. It's kind of a, a lot of hard edges. And then that juxtaposition of a little bit of bling just kind of you know gives it that little extra something and that's what I'm always looking for when I'm creating jewelry just that little extra something that you know because like that's okay it's kind of cute but maybe it's a little boring but toss that little bit of something in there and it's really cute so there we go so those are the Devon earrings I will take a quick picture after this live and um, they are $17.99. So we do have all the parts pretty much available except for these little bling things. And I don't think I have any more of these stainless steel um, rings, but I will get more in. Um, but there you go. So there's our little project for today. So I'll just kind of switch you back here and see if I can figure out how to do this. Uh, let's see. There, it worked. Yay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that little bit of movement is nice. Just to have a little bit of something. Um, I took my, I put my earrings in, but when I had, you can't see them when I do that, silly girl. But when I had them on, they were really cute. Just like a, just a little bit of extra. I always like that little, little tiny bit of something there. So um, if I have tutorial for bracelets, you showed, well, those are going to be live uh, next. It's a live uh, Great Beat Extravaganza um, project next Saturday. So make sure that if you have not joined the Great, the Great Big Extravaganza, that's always a mouthful to get out, that you go over to that page on Facebook and join up because you need to uh, be a member to be able to watch it. There, it doesn't cost you anything. There's about, um, I don't know, 14 different um, people that are going to be demoing that weekend. So you'll be able to see how to make it. And then you can also buy the kit. The kits are available now. Just look for the Great Beat Extravaganza or the penny bracelet. Um, so those are available right now. And then um, we have all kinds of fun during the Great Beat Extravaganza. There's all kinds of giveaways. I always do like coupons and codes and all sorts of fun things. So make sure to come and watch me next weekend if you can. And of course it will be on uh, replay uh, forever. So you can watch that at your leisure if you can't join any of us next uh, weekend. But, you know, it's always lots of fun and there's always really great um, uh, tutorials and chatter and all that kind of stuff. So it is, isn't it, Lynn? It was supposed to be just a one time thing. We were we literally were going to do it one time. And I don't know, I think this is like our 12th or 13th time or something like that. So, um, you know, it's turned into this great, big, huge thing. I, I Sometimes it's like, holy, it's like having another job. But... <laughs> It is kind of fun. So, and we really appreciate all the enthusiasm from all of our viewers and all the support that you give all of us. It's really, really wonderful. So, well, that's great, Susan. I'm really happy that you got your kit. And yeah, I, I have to redo another one because it's been a while since I made it. Like literally, I think I made this in like September or something. And I was going to just do it on one of my Monday videos. And then I thought, you know what? I really like that video. I think I'm going to hold it back and use it for the Great Beat Extravaganza because I don't know, just something different. So I'm always trying to have different things for you guys. So anyway, that's about it for today. Just a, you know, a quick pop on to say hi, uh, show you some of the things that I've been uh, creating and, um, you know, talk a little bit about next weekend. So I will be back. Um, I don't know if I'll have a video on Monday. I may. Uh, but if not, I will definitely be around next Wednesday for a live. And then you can catch us all on Friday night. Um, I think it's at five o'clock Pacific Standard Time where all of the uh, teachers get on and talk about what we're doing. And then, of course, all weekend long for the, the entire the entire weekend uh, for the Great Beat Extravaganza. So 
Well, thanks, Judy. I appreciate that. It's just something a little bit fun, something different. You know, I love creating things when I've got time and that's, you know, time is always my enemy, but I do enjoy cre uh, creating new things when I have time. And I'm getting pretty excited about going to Tucson because when I go there, I'm not only buying, but I'm designing on the fly, which is always fun. I think, okay, what can I make with this? So, so that's it. So thank you very much for uh, tuning in today. I will talk to you guys soon and go off and make some fabulous jewelry and have yourself a really fun day. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry. Before I go, Jean, how do you become a member? You just uh, asked to join. There's just a little button there and that's all you have to do. I think you just press uh, join the group or something like that. So, okay. Thank you, Shirley. I appreciate that. Okay, everybody. Love you guys lots and we will talk to you soon. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye now.